Hello and welcome to my darkest dungeon, the Butcher Circus tier list. All right, so let's get started. We got the Jester, Bella Ballad, uh, Finale, just an insanely powerful character. Also high base dodge, S tier, obviously. Then we got the Plague Doctor. Now you know me, I like my queen, but unfortunately, a queen here isn't that powerful. I wish she were, but she isn't. So we'll put her in D tier. Next up is the Antiquarian. Now, you know, she's pretty average, I would say. She got some pretty good uh, rest damage going on, and some rejuvenating vapors. She's not, she got uh, some tricks up her sleeve. But, you know, she's, she's average. I would put her in B tier. Now, the Houndmaster and the Antiquarian, they are basically the same character. When you look at uh, stress damage, as well as damage over time. They got some few differences, but they're basically the same character. And then we have the Vestal. Now Vestal has heals, and then she has stun, and that's all she has going for her. Uh, and her stun isn't even that powerful. I mean, if you look at the Crusader or the Abomination, they can deal a lot of damage, you know, like, pretty good damage and stun as well. While the Vestal can deal a bit of stress and then stun, which isn't that powerful. And she can heal. Her heals are pretty good. You know, she's the only character that can heal all characters uh, immediately. But in the Butcher Circus, you're usually more aggressive than defensive. So unfortunately, I'll put her in D tier. Now we have the Highwayman. Now the Highwayman can do one thing, and that's the repast. But that's also his strongest point. He has the strongest repast of all the characters in the Butcher Circus. So, you know, that's pretty good. So I would put him at B tier. Next up is the Occultist. Now the Occultist has a lot of going for him. You know, he has really good single target heal. And then he got some pretty good stress damage. As well as the Abysmal Artillery. You know, that's pretty good. So I would actually say he's average, and I would put him at B tier. Next up is the Grave Robber. Now the Grave Robber, insanely powerful. I mean, Panic Darts. Deals some pretty good damage, deals blight, deals stress, what more can you ask for? And you know, she's she's very powerful, you can even ask Winter Bliss about it. You know, Winter Bliss has won three tournaments, and yeah, Grave Robber, definitely powerful. We'll put her at A tier. Next up is the Musketeer. Now the Musketeer is basically a discount Arbalist, so unfortunately, we'll put her at D tier. And now we got Lever. Ooh, Lever. You know my king, Lever. Unfortunately, Lever isn't that powerful. But he, well, he, he is powerful. He can deal a lot of damage. But that's all he can do, really. Deal a lot of damage. Uh, but if he gets knocked into the third or fourth position, he's completely useless. And that's not that difficult to do. You know, slam, uppercut, perch with himself, actually. Uh, you can also just pull. Uh, the backline characters, and then he becomes completely useless. Unfortunately, 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 we'll put him at E tier. Next up, Hellion. Now, Hellion is actually better than these four characters, but not better than these four characters. And I'll tell you why. He's a bit bulkier uh, than the Plague Doctor and the Musketeer, but she can't really do a lot of damage to the enemy team. I mean, single target damage is pretty good, and she got a uh, extra death blow chance on Wicked Hack, but that's she doesn't have a lot of going for her, so we'll put her here in C tier. Next up is Shieldbreaker. Now Shieldbreaker, she's quite powerful. You know, she can pull, she can heal, hit everyone with Impale, she can survive longer with Serpent Sway. She's got a lot of going for her, and she has insanely good dodge. So we put her at A tier. Now we got the Abomination. Now this is where the controversial opinion comes in. The Abomination is actually D tier. I mean, you put him in fourth position, he's useless. And now we got the uh, Bounty Hunter. Put him in fourth position, and he's useless. But we'll put him at C because you know he can have extra death blow chance. Uh, and the same goes for Man in Arms. You put him in fourth position. He's completely useless. 
Uh, the same goes for Crusader. Put him at 4th position, completely useless. And the reverse goes for Arbalist. Put her in the 1st or 2nd position, completely useless. And then we got the Flagellant. Just push him and he's completely useless. So we'll put him at E tier. Thank you for watching my perfect tier list. And I hope you agree with me.